welcome to Healthy Ramadan, the new show that deals with all your health concerns in this holy month. I'm Dr. Noor Al Nibari. A new moon is seen. The, spe the special month has begun. Ramadan, the month of giving, praying, and devotion. We welcome Ramadan with open, clean hearts. We welcome Ramadan with excitement and strong will to harvest all the blessings of this month. This is the month of devotion, when we all pray to Allah, most graceful, most merciful. We try to please Him and follow the footsteps of our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Fasting is more than abstinence from food. It is the month when we must give, pray, and spread kindness among everyone. We have to steer away from bad habits such as greed, laziness, and selfishness, and apathy. It is the month of forgiveness and sharing, reconnecting with our family. My fondest memory of Ramadan when I was a child was when I used to help my mom in the kitchen. And uh, we used to make a lot of nice and good food. And we take this food to our neighbors and our family. You know, Ramadan does bring everybody together. It is the month when we also give to the poor. Generosity should be our motto this month, uh, when nobody should be left hungry. <laughs>
to give you loads of good advice this month as part of giving and being kind and um, and it's all about how to take care good care of your health this month without being at risk <laughs> My name is Najib al Matruk and I'm a clinical dietitian from Desman Diabetes Institute. Today I'm going to talk about um, one of the healthy tips that I advise uh, people to do during Ramadan. Uh, the best way to break your fast is by eating three pieces of dates and um, having a, a, cu a cup or a glass of um, milk or water because uh, after, after a long day of fasting, you need to hydrate your body with some some type of fluids like water or um, milk or even leban and the dates will help me to maintain your uh, blood sugar levels my name is Mohammed Hossein Jalali I'm working as a diabetic nurse in Dasman diabetic center uh, the healthy habit that I want to uh, advise you that you have to practice during Ramadan as a diabetic diabetic patient who wish to uh, fast is to check more frequently your blood sugar if you uh, feel anything abnormal, any abnormalities, the first thing that you have to think about it is uh, hypoglycemia or hubut, and you have to check it. And before uh, starting Ramadan, you have to consult with your uh, uh, the doctor to know what is the, how you can prevent the hypoglycemia during the Ramadan. Thank you very much, and I wish a very healthy and good Ramadan for all of you. Uh, my name is Abir Al Samad, and uh, I'm an insulin pump specialist in uh, Dasman uh, Diabetes Institute. Um, I would give you a healthy tip that uh, you have to check uh, your blood glucose more often uh, during the day, uh, so that you can keep a tighter uh, blood glucose control during the day, and um, just to avoid hypoglycemia. Uh, and uh, in the same time, uh, not to avoid hyperglycemia when when you have. Uh, uh, when you have your food, so check your BG more often uh, during Ramadan and uh, to get a tighter blood glucose control. Assalamu alaikum, mubarak alaikum shahar. My name is Saud al Jna'i, pharmacist Saud al Jna'i. Uh, I would like to advise all patients who would like to fast during the Ramadan, uh, especially those who take medicine on a daily basis. Uh, you should not change or alter the times that you take your medications without consulting the doctors uh, that prescribe these medicines for you. Because sometimes they, they might be less effective or they might uh, produce bad effects if taking uh, in a bad way or in a, in a timely, bad timely way. Uh, when it comes to antihistamines medicine like Zyrtec or Aries, uh, they should be taken early, after uh, when after futur, and not kept late uh, before suhoor, because they they might cause thirst, which will be annoying during fasting time, in the morning. Uh, as for the healthy habits I might practice this Ramadan, inshallah, I would like to exercise before futur if I have the time, even if just walking for half a, half an hour. Uh, in addition, I would like to eat less sweets and healthy foods as much as possible, inshallah. Uh, good afternoon. My name is uh, Fatma Mahmoud. I'm diabetes nurse educator at Dasman Diabetes Institute. Uh, as everybody knows that uh, we are going uh, uh, so far to Ramadan, and uh, I would like to advise uh, the patients or the people w with diabetes who are willing 
to fast Ramadan. Uh, it's so very, very important for people who, want, who would like to fast Ramadan to check their blood glucose several times, at least every four hours during the day of Ramadan, especially if they are treating with the, uh, insulin or, or with some medication like diamicron or amiril or mini diab. Those people who are getting this medication, they're supposed to check their blood glucose at least four times every day during the day of Ramadan. And uh, it's so important for them to uh, not to, to do heavy exercise or, or not to do uh, 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 strenuous uh, exercise or um, uh, hard physical activity. Uh, also, they are not supposed to expose to the sun during the, he the, the, the day of the, the during the day. Uh, and if they feel any uh, uh, low blood sugar, they have to break their fast immediately.
fasting in Ramadan can be very healthy to you. Doctors are using Ramadan now to help people lose their weight. It will actually help you achieve weight loss and it has an overall health benefit, such as lowering your blood sugar and lowering your blood cholesterol. And through these goals, you can actually achieve a better health. So you have to have some work done as well. So if you're fa fasting and you want to break your fast, instead of eating sweets and fatty food, opt for something less sweeter, such as dates and goat cheese. These are traditional as well, but they are very healthy to you. Another way where Ramadan can actually help you achieve better health is actually learning new habits, such as quitting smoking and reducing your caffeine intake. And it will incorporate healthy eating habits in Ramadan. So if you do that, it will last longer than Ramadan itself. Mm -hmm.